It's been a real pleasure to come to this conference. I've been attending conferences across all sorts of sectors for maybe the last 25 years, and this has been by far the best. It's always interesting to be here at the conference in Floral. I was here last year and got a chance to meet several like-minded people working on hydrogen projects and especially uh, developments uh, in the maritime industry. I've learned about the challenges uh, connected to uh, solving the energy uh, problem with uh, hydrogen and the possibilities of, and the different ways you can do it. So yeah, this conference gives a great overview of uh, what's happening in the market, in the maritime industry. And um, yeah, especially for zero emission and fuel cells and hydrogen, I think there's uh, still a lot, work, a lot of work to do, but a lot of work has been done already. So I think we're really on the right track. And this conference gives a really good overview of what's happening and where are we heading. It is very important that uh, both uh, industrial partners and uh, academical uh, institutions like us come together. So uh, this is a very good arena that uh, we could come together and discuss things. And uh, I think it is a privilege for both the universities, the university sector and the industrial partners as well, because um, uh, both benefit from these type of conferences. It's also interesting to see how the conference has grown. There are a lot more people here this year than there were last year. And for me, it was uh, interesting and a pleasure to hear about all the new projects that are up and running and uh, projects that were earlier in um, conceptual stages are now moving into becoming a reality, which is very exciting. To be able to pull together the supply chain, the electrolyzers, the, the guys who will deliver the infrastructure, and then to look at the practical applications of how we integrate hydrogen into the marine sector. It's been quite special to see that coming together uh, in one place and for us to now see how we can rapidly transition this really important sector, a sector that's so important across the Arctic Circle, stretching from here, Norway, through Orkney, Shetland, Scotland and further across to Iceland and Canada. I think we have such great opportunities and I think hydrogen is the key to unlocking all of that.